Hey guys, welcome back. Me and Abel here this time and we're heading all the way up to the top of the mountains. There's a huge snowstorm coming in with gale force winds. It's going to be absolutely brutal. Yeah, so like Victoria said, it's going to be absolutely horrible conditions for this one. So we've got our full winter gear, but we try to keep it a bit lightweight. So my pack's about 18 kilos, I think it's about 35 pounds. What's yours, Victoria? About 12 kilos, I think. Yeah, which is 25 pounds or so. But we've got a big steep climb up a piece of track that a lot of you have probably seen before. We might see someone along the way. But it should be a fun camp and we better crack onto it before the storm hits us. We'll come back further along the trail. Season. Been walking now for about two hours and it's been pretty much straight uphill. We've come up 800 meters or so, Victoria, is that right? So, yeah. Yeah, so we've made it up to the ridge. I think it's only a few more kilometers and a few more hundred meters up and then we'll break out to the tussocks. But feeling pretty good actually. We've been having heaps of electrolytes and lots of water. You can see I'm just completely dripping wet. <laughs> but that's to be expected. Temperature's dropping up here. It's not that much further, then we'll be able to get warm clothes on, set up the tent. What's that? Doesn't sound like a wicker, sounds like a dog. Sounds like a border collie. Distracted. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we've come across this guy in the bush, in his element. Not just randomly in the bush, <laughs> but um, yeah. Nice to meet um, Tony. You guys probably know who he is if you're watching my channel. You've probably liked to see Tony. So yeah, this AB is... Camping, and this is Bruno. Yes. <laughs> yes, you. So this is the first time we've met, and it's quite a fitting spot to meet up here. On the tops, in the rain, yeah. in the sleet, it's with just, the snow coming. Yeah, it's just started to come in, and we should probably get a move on because we still got a half hour walk or so. Yeah. Still got to sit up. And you've just lost a whole load of body temperature talking to me. Hi. Yeah. And playing with Bruno. <laughs> you wanna come with us? And Bruno's already destroyed his cup, his plate. <laughs> yeah, Bruno stole my little plastic bowl out. He, he is nice and cozy to hug, and he, he warms you up very quickly, but you're not taking him. He's a very good boy. We're gonna be just, <laughs> just down that way. <laughs> it's not just <laughs> down that way, it's quite a way. 40 minutes Take in the snowstorm. 40 minutes, we've got snow coming in. Should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should be epic. We should probably get going before we yeah. get stranded here. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for the brownies. <laughs> I'll enjoy them on film. Oh, now no. I'm going to go undercover right. while you guys go <laughs> for another 40 minutes. Carry on. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back for setup. See you everyone. Rough. It's really starting to come in now. Sideways, ice and rain. It's very cold. This is the critical time where you've got to not let yourself lose too much temperature to get your base set up real fast. But we were delayed just long enough to get smashed. <laughs> Man, that wind chill. We've made it in to where we're going to camp. We've got this nice little clearing in here kind of tucked down off the tops, just off the tussocks in these trees. So it should be quite nice, a little bit of shelter. I think there's a good space for the tent here. We'll probably be able to get the tarp up across this little clearing. But it's freezing cold, we've got to get the tent up quick, get the tarp up, get all established. Get our warm clothes on. Yeah, get our warm clothes on. We might do that first and then have a hot drink. But looks like a good spot and the weather's not fully coming in yet, so we get on with the tent.
we actually got a pretty good pitch on the tent. Looks real nice amongst these beech leaves and in the tussocks. The tarp will look good too. So we got enough guy lines, I think, to get it right back there and right across and have like the ultimate setup. So it should be quite nice. We should be quite sheltered too. I think we'll be able to pull it down as well overnight if things get real rough. But we'll get on with that. Get it patched. Starting to get cold, temperature's dropping. We got the um, the tarp set up real nice. I attached a couple of guy lines to the trees up above to pull out and kind of volumize the space. So we've got quite a lot of room in here. We're just tucked in and the snow should shed off this tarp pretty good too. So I might be able to just leave it like this overnight. We're gonna get everything in the tent set up now. Um, as soon as we stop moving, it's gonna be freezing cold. And then I suppose have a hot drink and then probably try find some firewood or something. Got the big UGQ, negative 18 degrees Celsius quilt. And the uh, Big Agnes Rapide tent floor pad again. Absolutely awesome. Check out the gear shop if you want to have a pad like ours. Because I'm telling you, it's absolutely luxury when you're up here. Also, Victoria has got a Big Agnes insulated chair cover again. So another piece that you can collect for yourself from the gear shop. Really good pieces of gear. Like we come up here, and obviously the conditions are rough as, but we have pretty nice covers. Whoa, the camera's gonna fall over. Big gusts coming in. <laughs> okay, we're fully set up now, and we changed into all our warm clothes. I've got my Mac pack jacket, which is 200 grams of down, my nitro fleece, my big beanie, my big Agnes vest, and <laughs> a marina. Got long johns and alpine pants. And I'm actually quite warm, apart from my fingers, because I took my gloves off. Yeah, I'm pretty warm too. I've got Abel's jacket over my knees. Yeah, you can see this here, it's my down jacket. That's <laughs> a 300 gram weight penalty, but Victoria can use it if she needs it. Mm. There's like some gentle kind of rain and ice hitting the tarp. And there's this real dark clouds kind of coming in and around us. And every now, every now and then gusts of wind. But what we're gonna do is have a big cup of tea. I got the MSR wind burner for this trip. Haven't had this beast out in a while. Actually, no, we have coffee. Coffee? Coffee and some biscuits, some oh. food. I just got real dark and cold. Yeah, the oh there's a storm God. front coming. We gotta quickly have this tea and then try and get some wood, but this is pretty insane. I'm loving this volumized tarp set up and like, that's being up here. I'm feeling quite cozy at the moment. I've got my little feet warmers inside my socks again. They're making a huge difference. And right now, I'm feeling good. There's so much rain coming down. Well, it's not even really rain. It's more sleepy ice. But we're sitting here. We've got a nice hot cup of coffee. Yeah, it's like a combination of rain and ice. But the temperature is slowly dropping. <laughs> and it seems like the storm is coming in. But it's beautiful. I feel quite cosy sitting here. <laughs> but so Abel's jacket over my knees. I'm all wrapped up. Tony just came and visited <laughs> us from his campsite a bit further down. So... <laughs> Yeah, I was going to get a big pile of firewood and I think I'll still try to do a little scavenge but it's not looking very nice just outside my tarp so <laughs> we'll it's, see how that goes. It's quite nice knowing Whoa. that someone else is up here suffering with us though. 
having a neighbour on the mountain. Yeah, it's starting to come in quite seriously. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's grim. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get any firewood. Whoa. There's like a big... It's like a hailstorm. <laughs> Oh no. They're quite big chunks of hail. Holy cow. Alright, I think it's commenced. <laughs> the storm is here. Alright, I need some biscuits. I can do that. We have a whole packet of macaroons. Macaroons, look. I'll come out. For the, oh, I'm getting hit with the ice, look. Macaroons, we've got to focus. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. I think it will. Oh man. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Thank you. Oh gosh. Beautiful conditions. Far out. So yeah, so just like another <laughs> typical day at the office. <laughs> All right. Well, we're probably just going to chill out here. Probably have a hot cup of soup as well. See what happens with the weather. I mean, it's not forecasted to ease. So, maybe it's just hunkered down, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, you can probably hear that thunder and lightning and I'm gonna go out and collect some wood there's gonna be slim pickings for wood out here but you know I'll probably be able to find some I'm pretty good at it hopefully not get struck by lightning while I'm doing it get some wood Guys, if I can get this fire going, this would be my my best best attempt. It could 
conditions are absolutely horrendous. And this wood is just great. Wind for the wind burner. some of the wind and heat but it's absolutely rough conditions thunder lightning sleep and the snowstorm on the way okay that was maybe one of the most intense setups <laughs> in fire gathering and fire lighting missions the weather's just coming in this snow and ice thunder lightning but the fire is actually going and we're safe that's incredible that you managed to get that going yeah I, i'm um, very impressed tony told me that there's not much wood up here but you know what i'm pretty good at fires so you're doing good you're doing real good <laughs> it's putting out such a nice heat though it's just kind of heating up under the tarp oh, i think we need to get dinner on yeah we before definitely we start do. getting cold i'll show you guys what we're having it's the old dirty D high while well, down the valley someone's having a Wagyu steak. <laughs> but we've got the freeze dried. Stroganoff, curry, mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna put heaps of butter in it. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, I man. reckon these are quite tasty to be honest. Do we have enough water to cook them all? Um, we do, but then we're gonna be out. Okay, I might have to go on a mission to the time. <laughs> that one's out. This one's full. That's full. Why do you want to get on first? Probably these two because they need longer. How much do they need? That one needs one cup. This one needs two and a half cups. 700 ml. Anyway. Two cups and three quarters. Yeah, okay, so um, I'm going to politely ask that you smash the thumbs up for the thunder and lightning wood gathering scene because that was something special. <laughs> it's not every day you're on top of the mountain. Oh my gosh, look at the snow coming down now. And the snowstorm with thunder and lightning. So look how weak you are. I'm soaking but I'm dry, I'm warm as. I don't know how much water we're gonna need, I can't even see, but we'll just hope for the best eh? You're gonna need more than that, but we'll do that for what, a start. What's in the mashed potato? Well this needs nearly three cups. How many mil? That's 688 mil. It's one full thing of this. That's all of this. Yeah. Alright. Right. <laughs> the snow is falling. Here's the lighter gone. Okay, so I'm gonna get this on. And rehydrating. Best thing about these freeze-dried meals is that they double as a hot water bottle <laughs> while they're rehydrating. What a mission. I'm quite proud of you for getting that fire going. I really didn't think there was going to be a possibility tonight. I did put a lot of fire starter in there. <laughs> Man, the snow is coming down. Whatever it is, snow and ice and rain and... Potato. <laughs> this is the truly... The snow looks the same as what's inside here. Yeah, this is truly, <laughs> truly a brutal camp. I hope Tony's alright down the valley. He's quite exposed. We're pretty sheltered and the setup's doing really well. There's no way his fire will be better than mine. <laughs> That's a good fire. That'll burn for hours. And we're going to cook chocolate brownie on it later when it dies down. I can already feel the heat coming off that. It's so nice. Yeah. Anyway, we'll cook this and make sure everything's going good. Make sure the fire's alright. And I think we'll come back to you when we're eating dinner. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. You're covered in snow. <laughs> you 
<laughs> Why am I here? Why am I doing this? <laughs> the snow's really coming in now. <laughs> How old are you warm? I'm actually kind of warm. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's got her, um, the dehys inside the down jacket warming her up. That's really nice. I like little hot water bottles. It's great. This is a um, little bowl that I brought up. Then we stopped off and seen Tony. Bruno. <laughs> that, my bowl. You can see his little teeth marks in there. But he's such a nice little boy, it's alright. He's lovely. That's a smash for ten. Mesh for a family of five, it says. <laughs> so yeah, this will be, I think it's about 200 calories. I mean, 200 carbohydrates. A bit of it, the bottom didn't make it into the, the rehydration process. My microphone's covered in snow. So hopefully you can hear me. Victoria's putting a big dirty old straw. That's enough for now. Look, I'll show you guys. So, okay, I'm just making a mess. It's very hard to show you, but this is a giant bowl of beef stroganoff from a packet. Yeah. And mashed potatoes. Look at it. It's actually delicious. Right. Oh my goodness. My stove's almost on the fire. I've got an Indian, Indian chick to curry. <sighs> I need to slow down and try and enjoy this. It's pretty nice. You can taste like mushroom, beef, onion, cheesy, buttery. You want to taste it, Tori? Mm -hmm. There's a bit of pasta in here. I'll try to show you it's a bit of angle now. There's not so much in the bowl. This is the, the stroganoff. Don't underestimate it. What do you think? It tastes like a curry in a bag. <laughs> it tastes natural. Seeds and spices and stuff. Mm. You know, is it better than a burger? No, but it's pretty harsh conditions. Something nice about this hot meal when <laughs> it's like this. It doesn't really matter what it was. But after this we've got, as I mentioned before, Victoria cooked up a big batch of chocolate brownie. <laughs> so we're going to chuck that in some tin foil over the fire and heat it up. We even gave Tony a little bit on the way up. Yeah, so that'll be like... Paid. the oh, the road toll yeah. <laughs> to get it'll, up here. It'll be like the ultimate dessert. <laughs> and then I think we're just going to hunker down because I'm just wet. Mm, and this storm's only supposed to get worse. It's eased a little bit now. But I think the main bulk of snow is supposed to come in around about... Nine, isn't it? nine, not after nine o'clock, yeah. So we'll probably wake up to a huge dump. fire's putting out so much heat. I can feel it, it's just super warmth. This fire is amazing. It's actually melted all the snow about a metre and a half either side of the fire. It's kind of turned into a bit of a puddle, but that's all right. It's a lifesaver really, my fingers got so cold. You actually look like you're dry almost. Yeah, I've been steaming off by the fire. <laughs> The first front of weather has come through, now it's quite calm. I just checked the forecast because we've got a bit of reception here. And I think there's another one coming through in a couple of hours. But it's quite nice to have a bit of more, a bit calm. 
yeah, not be smashed by snow right now. Dinner time was rough. <laughs> but next up, in this little container, I've got two big hunks of delicious brownie. So I'm going to get these out. They're really cold at the moment. Place them on the edge. And warm them up over the fire. I just put them there. It's pretty hot though. Smoky. Here you go. A bit of smoke, fire smoke. Mm. It's a treat. <laughs> what do you reckon? The brownie's good. A bit of ice cream would be very divine with it. Mm. Sorry, I didn't carry the ice cream up as well. But, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Very nice. It's a lot of brownie. <laughs> they need a little bit of milk to wash some of that down. <laughs> Drink a little bit of milk with my brownie. <laughs> I think I'll finish up with this brownie. And then probably have a cup of tea, I think. And just chill out. Continue to dry myself by the fire and just enjoy being out in the mountains. Mm. So relaxing. But thanks, River. Uh, even, thank, even though it's been crazy. Thanks, everyone, for watching and coming along on the trip. We all uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I read all your comments, I try to respond to them all, but there's quite a few coming in now. And I think you guys would probably want me to spend more time making videos than replying to every comment. But I read them, and I'll respond if I get the time. But yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for coming along. And we'll come back to you later, maybe for the tent tour. Tent tour. Then we get inside the big tent. Finally, we've made it inside the tent. Very cozy in here, on the big tent floor again. It's very warm. I can't feel any cold coming up from underneath me. So it's quite nice to be in here and just you can hear the wind rustling around the trees and watching the little fire die down out the door. But it's been a great night, even though it was quite exciting with that thunder and the lightning. <laughs> the smoke coming in. Yeah, but I've got the tarp positioned right down so if there is more snow overnight which is forecast hopefully it falls off and doesn't you know pull up on the tarp too much but I think we'll probably just go to sleep now There's yeah, nothing else we can do just hunker down and survive the night I think yeah see how much snow comes in while we're asleep yeah we might wake up to a <laughs> giant deluge but if that happens, we're prepared for it, and that will be cool. So we'll see, and hopefully have a good night's sleep. We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning everyone, we've awoken and it's very cold and very snowy outside. I had an excellent night's sleep, maybe the best I've ever had in the tent. What about you? Yeah, it was cosy. Yeah, the tent floor pads just exceptionally comfortable. I love it. I think we woke up at about 12.30 and all you could hear was snow pitter pattering on the tarp and wind in the trees. Yeah, it's a very strange sound, it's like tick, 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 
Yeah. And you're like, uh oh. <laughs> but we've made ourselves a real delicious drip coffee, the epic drip. And we're just going to assess the situation. The tarp's got a lot of snow on it and it's coming down. And the trees are just. Yeah. The, look <laughs> at this. So heavy. The trees are just covered. Gosh. But the wind hasn't picked up. Um, so At least that's not great. down here. Yeah. You can definitely hear it up further, just whistling past, but we're quite sheltered. So this is excellent conditions for camping. Uh, condensation is at 10 out of 10, <laughs> but we cope with that. It's kind of unavoidable when you're buried in snow. Mm. But I think what I'm going to do is finish my coffee, and then I'm going to get up and assess the situation. Just sit down. But, ugh, this is quite fun, and it's nice to be up here. The guy line's frozen. I can't move it. Woohoo! All right, we're up. There's a few snowflakes falling, and I've managed to set the tarp up a bit. But the guy lines are all frozen. The line locks, so I had to try and tie a knot with my frozen fingers, which didn't work too good. But this is just magical. How do you think it is, Victoria? It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so, we are having a cup of tea. Yes. This time it is, what is it? It's, Caramelized ginger. Yeah, I can tea. feel cold slightly penetrating through my pants and my fingers. But the down jacket's working well. Toes are a little bit chilly. It is, it's quite cold. I mean, as you can see, there's snow everywhere. Snow is usually pretty cold. It's frozen water. Um, you guys all know that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wish I had some more fire starters. I could go get more wood. I've actually stored a couple logs over there, so if I come back to the spot, I've already got a head start. The clouds are looking pretty dark, actually, over this way. I'm not sure what the forecast is supposed to do. I haven't checked it this morning. But it could be more snow coming, I think. But we're in no rush to go anywhere, so we can just chill out here all day if we feel like it, which is nice. Enjoy all this pretty snow on the trees. Yeah, I hope you guys like seeing this kind of weather. It's cool to come out and camp in it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I reckon it's magical because you can't just come up here and see this at any time. Yeah, you gotta you gotta prepare, be in the storm to get the dump. <laughs> yeah, to see it like this. I reckon it's worth it, it's awesome. It's amazing waking up, unzipping the tent and seeing this. No wonder they're cold. The ice. So I think there was about 30, maybe 40 centimetres of snow. I don't have a tape measure with me, but there's quite a lot. I think maybe forecast was accurate in terms of the amount of snow that has fallen. It'll be interesting to see like how far down in the tree line it's gone. I think it was supposed to go down to 700 metres. I just went up and had a look at the mountains and you can just see snow everywhere. So <laughs> I can't see anything that's not covered. I might have to put the big green puffer jacket on. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I'm right at the moment. Oh yeah, sweet. I'm just going to have to have lots of tea, lots of coffee. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool. <sighs> okay, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's little bits of snow falling down. We're safe under the tarp. But this is some pretty intense weather. Um, just got a message from Tony. <laughs> showing us his setup. He was completely buried in snow like us. Um, but that's what we came up for, so. It's good fun. Yeah. 
Um, so the plan is we are going to eat some breakfast so that we can warm up. Yeah. And then we probably need to pack everything down. That's going to be, be a, hard work. <laughs> it's going to be a mission and then it's going to be a long walk out in pretty deep snow, I'm guessing. Yeah, so we'll get breakfast on. We've got some oats. I might have a chicken curry as well because why not? I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> and we'll have some more coffee. We'll get that on now. Get the wind burner out. So we'll crank that up. What are you going to have first, the oats or the curry? I'm not having curry for breakfast. Don't okay. be ridiculous. I was going to have some curry. <laughs> oh, I've got a macaroon. Might as well start with a macaroon. But it's, yeah, little flakes of ice have fallen. Mm. My biscuit's frozen. Oh, my drink bottle's frozen too. All the condensation on the quilt has turned to ice, so my bag was like frozen to the wall of the tent. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice big fun dry out back at home. Yeah, there's, like there's more weather coming in. There's definitely some more snow coming, I think. I think we should kind of act quick. You can see my feet. They're just <laughs> encased in ice. Solid. My toes are not exactly warm. Mine are. <laughs> we might have to melt a bit of snow as well to get some extra water. See our breath? Oh. <laughs> this is what I'd call, though, ultimate success. Come up for the dump, get the dump, and survive the dump. And survive. Get home. I think taking the D high was an okay idea. Um, if we were to do it again, I was I, pretty keen on some burgers last night. Yeah, I'm not I think we'd lie. do burgers and try cut weight somewhere else. But my meal was quite tasty. And when yeah. you're up here in the snow, all you really want is some hot food. It was more the thought of Tony cut the K away cooking a <laughs> steak. It made me a bit sad. Insane. All right, everyone, we've had breakfast, just some simple oats, protein and hot water. And we went up and we had a look at the mountains behind us when the sun came out for a bit. That was insane. So I'll put that footage up over me talking now. But the temperatures plummeted again and it started snowing. Victoria's in the tent. We're going to try pack up. Got to get all our stuff away without making a giant mess. But I'll film a bit of that and then I'll come back to you guys and we're walking out across the tops in the deep snow. It's about knee deep. Then we'll go back into the forest and walk along the ridge. That'll be pretty awesome. So stick around for that. We'll do a quick pack up and I'll come back to you for the walk.
Alright everyone, we're packed up. My pack feels like five kilos heavier because everything's covered in ice and wet. Tent probably weighs like seven kilos now or something stupid. But pack up was pretty good. We're gonna head out up onto the tops and we'll film some of that because it's just incredible with all the snow and stuff. Gotta get moving though, because I've taken my down jacket off just wearing the synthetic Alpha Direct fabric thing. But we'll get out onto the tops and show you some of that. Just making our way through these tussocks with about knee deep snow. <laughs> Slipping and sliding. Takes like five times the energy, whoa, to walk in this type of stuff. But it's not too far if we get back into the forest. But the mountains up here, just everything's covered. It's so amazing. It's not nice water. The trees here are like fully encrusted with snow. This is the, uh, have to, I'm not wearing a hard shell, so have to be careful not to get smoked by big <laughs> lumps of snow. But this is the um, full on, Winter Wonderland section. <laughs> it's incredible. There's so much snow here. So we've got to walk along a few kilometers of this and then straight back down. Whoa. But if you're still watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a big mission. But it was an absolutely awesome camp. A massive amount of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video. Really appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support. And taking your time to just come along on our crazy adventures. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>